Well, it is January 5th, 2020. Maybe you can feel the wind, hear the wind as soon as I walked out, stepped out of this truck here. Uh, I'm on the south southwest shore of Lake Michigan, and my man Jim Wheeler says we should go perch fishing on Lake Michigan. Well, you hear the wind because it's 20, anywhere between 10 and 20 mile per hour winds. But the good news is they're all out of the south, southwest. So he says we can get to some wind protected areas and catch some great lakes perch. So that's what we're off to today. But he might be a little nutty. What do you say, Jim Wheeler? Morning, sir. Air temp is not even 32 degrees out. Gotta be some good ones in there. They're on a huge load, huge school. I'm a high energy guy. When I use a drop shot or anything, I like to move it a lot and can't really do that with these perch. So, micro light rods that Jim's provided here. I'm gonna drop my bait all the way down. That half ounce is gonna drop it really fast, like a rock. And once it hits the very bottom, because that's where those fish are, is on the very bottom. I'll know because my line will stop coming out. So now I know it's on the bottom. And I'm going to reel in just enough to where when my rod starts to bend, just a little bit, because that's the bend of the weight sitting on the bottom. And then that's it. You, I'm literally going to sit there, watch that little bend, and wait for the slightest tap. Once I feel that tap, set the hook. That's your perch. It's backwards from the way I like to fish. It's to move a lot. But these perch are biting so light and they don't want that movement. That middle is swimming around enough. That's all the movement it need. Just using a snail hook that you could buy from Walmart, truthfully. Uh, it's it's set up just like a drop shot. But that, uh, I would say that that swivel, really important to minimize line twist. You just got a regular old crop minnow. Uh, he swears we don't need those fancy gold roaches, still gonna get bit. And that's uh, how heavy of a weight is that, Jim? I think they're half half ounce okay so you can see how this is going to set up here jim's hooked up right now let's see what you got yeah. really using micro light rods because the bite is super light and putting it right on the bottom the graph is showing all sorts of fish down here that is what perch look like all on the bottom that's what they look like Ooh, big hit. Yeah. Head on your side. Well, the deal is you gotta weed through the small ones. Unless you get lucky and find that load, mother load. That's like a catching a pencil. Finding these fish, Jim, really isn't that difficult. Finding fish. No. One, you look for the boats. Two, you know, they're going to show. I mean, as you've seen on the screen, it gets loaded when you're around them. It's just finding the right size, keeper size fish. Yeah. It, working through a whole bunch of fish. Now, this is in the Illinois where we're at today. We are in Illinois. Last year's video, we were actually in Indiana the entire time. Or actually, we were. What do you want to call it? 
We're Illinois, but the Indian license work there. Today I, we had to purchase the Illinois license. The perch are obviously bottom oriented here. We've seen every fish is on the bottom. This is how we're targeting them. It's right on the bottom with our face down there. And it's a very cheap way to go fishing. I mean, we yeah. see guys fishing on the shore. We're, out, we're using this barge right now as a kind of a wind protection. Uh, today is a very windy day. Cold too, very cold. But we're, most of these perch are 30 feet deep. A good graph is really good, uh, really helpful. You know that there are in fact perch in, a, in an area. Like that one there. Oh, he feels like a giant gym. Yes, sir. And Jim was just saying there aren't any keepers over here. You say we're talking keep fish. A uh, keeper's what? Eight inches? Would you say? Eight, nine, yeah. nine inches. Yeah. Yeah. And we've only been fishing not even an hour and a half. Not even. And what we got? A dozen keepers already. Uh, yeah, fifteen. I think. Fifteen. Yeah. So a good graph is definitely helping us find the fish. And we just we used a, the spot lock on his Minn Kota Ultra Control motor, which is priceless out here. Last year, we were out here, we didn't have that, and it was a constant battle going back and forth on the, on the troll motor. Not today. Spot lock it, and we stay put, fish as long as we want, until we pick up the next spot. Ah, oh, there's a double. Let's see which one's bigger. I bet mine is. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, look how much bigger mine is compared. Yep. Yeah, good job, Chad. Well, Jim, it only took us about two and a half hours to catch our limits of lake perch. And just reiterate what we've been saying. I mean, this is a real easy way to catch fish. It is. This river gets full of fish. I mean, oh, hundreds of thousands. Everywhere hundreds we stop, there, there's the graphs just loaded with them. Um, you got to pick through them to get the bigger ones. Um, you're going to catch a bunch of fish. You can see the barges we're right next to tied up. Um, they're all up and down the river. It's 30, 30 plus foot, you know, right around them. Sure, Andy, you take a picture to live well. We got some good ones today. Um, we got our limit, but. Uh, you know, you see, it's like you mentioned by the barges. The truth is, we kind of use the barges today just to be more comfortable. So you try to get out of the winds, a little bit of wind block. But they're all up and down this river. You see people outside the barges, but we definitely use it to try to get out of the wind. And, and on a day like today, why not? You know, yeah. it'll make it more comfortable for us. But, Jim, I do have one little concern. We launched over at Hammond, and uh, well, that's a couple miles away, and the winds are blowing pretty rough out of the south and southwest, so don't go anywhere yet, because we might have a good boat ride. Hey. Better we'll be calling one of you to come get us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything we've used is in the description. Links to it. Uh, we're not holding back any secrets, so if you're looking to do some great perch fishing, I mean, this tech setup's going to work.
a boat, we smell the marine, we don't get through anything. <laughs>